Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we solve lead code SQL questions. Today's question is Type easy, question number 0597, friend request 1, overall acceptance rate. Okay. Okay, let's start with our question. Okay, this question is asked in Facebook. They have given two tables, friend request and request accepted. Here, the person who is sending the request, it is giving here and to whom it is getting sended. Third thing, on which date it is getting sended, it is in the friend request table. Similarly, who is giving the request to you, whether you accepted it or not, if it is accepted, by which person it is accepted and the third thing is on which date it is accepted. They say that there is no primary key for this table because it can be repeated any number of times. Okay. Write a SQL query to find the overall acceptance rate of requests, which is the number of acceptance divided by the, okay. Let's say that five people have sent the request and only three are being accepted. Then the ratio will be three by five. That is what they're saying. The accepted requests are not necessarily from the table front request. In this case, count the total number accepted requests, no matter okay, where they are in the original request and divide it by the number of requests to get the acceptance rate. Okay, let's see what they are meaning. They have given some input table. Let's read the three conditions first and we will understand what they are meaning, okay? First condition is, maybe some people have sent the requested here, it, it got accepted but their details are not mentioned here, but it doesn't matter, maybe here different people are sending the request and different people are accepting the request, it doesn't matter, what we required is total number of requests sent, total number of requests accepted, accepted. after that you need to divide them, okay? Second, it is possible, okay, same thing they are saying, if there are no requests at all, you should return 00, 0 as the acceptance rate. Okay, let's see. Imagine 5 requests are sent, 4 are accepted, you will get 4 by 5 as answer. Imagine 0 requests are sent, then maximum which can be sent is 0, right? Then 0 by 0 will be error. In this case, we need to solve this edge case. After that, we need to solve that. Let's see how to do that. What we do is, for example, in the front request table, how many requests are there? 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. Means what? Let's combine them so that we, com we can get a unique table, their strings. So, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 4. Okay. There are 5 unique requests okay friend requests are five okay let's see how many requests got accepted one two one three two three three four three four you can see two customers see two requests have been accepted multiple times you can accept a friend request only once not twice so how many are there one two one three 2, 3, in the fourth one, 3, 4, 3, 4. So, if you combine them, means concat name, and if you see the distinct number of elements, there are 4. Okay. Total number of count of elements distinct is 4 here, it is 5. So, if you divide 4 by 5, you will get 8 as answer. Okay. Now, what is the edge case? If there are only 0, we need to give some other numbers because 0 by 0 gives zero division error instead of our we will give some default value like one two or something then zero by anything will be zero only okay let's solve it let's first take the number of unique from friend requestable let's concatenate what and what these two ids which we got here one two so on sender id send to id okay but we want 
all the things no for example in the second thing we have joined them but there are some duplicate things also so we want only what distinct okay now we got the distinct combination of them now what we need how many requests are sent means count them let's say count Let's say it. Let's make it bigger, little bigger. Okay. Let's give some alias as friend request from friend request table. Okay. Let's store it as one table with ct1 as this one. This will have the count of friend request. Okay. Let's create another table which calculates the request accepted concat what are the two tables there columns requester id second one is acceptor id same thing we are doing here combining them taking the unique values and counting them let's give some alias name uh, i think one more bracket should be there here as request accepted from which table request accepted table okay okay my bad let's store it in ct2 table with comma is there so not required ct2 as this table okay done now what we have from these two tables we have friend requested and request accepted in ct1 and ct2 these are in two different tables but there are no combining columns or any unique things for them so what we do is cross join means let's say that three elements are there here a b c and d and e cross join will be a d a e b d b e C E C E. Okay. Similarly, there are only two values here, F R and R A. Cross chain will be a single connection between them. Okay. So let's do that. Select from uh, C T one table. Cross join C T two table. Now what we will select? We need to do division of this by this means how many are there total request accepted by um, fr yeah let's run it send it to id yeah id Okay, what it's saying 0 0.8. Okay, there is an issue in MySQL server. It is not there in MSSQL. What happens means let's say 7 by 5. Okay, it is 1.4. But MSQL server it will return it as 1 only. So for that, what we need to do is we need to multiply into 1.0. A floating number, if we divide it, it will give the floating point number. Okay, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Okay, we need to give some alias name for the output. What is the output name they have given? Accept rate. Okay. As accept rate. Let's run it. Okay, our solution got accepted. Let's submit it. Okay, there is an issue while submitting. Okay, if you see, imagine there are null tables and null tables. Okay, there is an edge case. Then, what will be the request accepted? 0 friend request sent 0 then 0 by 0 will show an error okay so what we will do is when count of friend requests is equal to 0 let's give some number 1 2 or something okay it can be any number because let's say we have given some 7 then it will be 0 by 7 0 by 100 nothing any number 0 by 0 will always be 0 it's just to overcome the 0 by 0 division error which is coming here okay 0 by error okay so where is the friend request error let's go here keep when case when 
this is equal to 0 let's keep it full screen okay this is equal to 0 let's call it as some number 10 okay else leave it like this only else okay now we need to keep end as okay we are done now i think it will accept now okay still showing the wrong answer let me see what is the issue okay if you see the answer is 0 0.33 but it's giving 0 0.333 so what we need to do is we need to round off the solution we got round how many decimal points they are doing okay two let's submit it yeah, yeah all our test cases are submitted thank you for watching my video see you in the next question